we're looking at the spray booth I built. You can see it in a few videos. I have those up on YouTube. Um, there's my airbrush. It's a Pache or Pache. I don't know how to say that. Dual action. This is a compressor I use with it. The compressor keeps a fairly constant airstream going, which is critical. I'm not an expert on airbrushes. I'm not even going to get into it. Dream Knight has a good series on it. It's on SM Consortium. I will put a link to it at the bottom of the video. Okay. But this is the airbrush I'm going to use. I'm going to show you guys the spray booth in action because some people wanted that. Right there is a paint shaker with the paint I'm going to use today. I'm experimenting. We're going to try some Tamiya paints. I use the paint shaker to shake up my paint. Call me lazy. I got this thing for 20 bucks on Amazon.com and never thought I would really use it. And I use it for every single paint I use. It mixes the paint very well in the jar. So that's why I use this thing. I didn't get the battery version because I just saw the thing eating batteries like mad. Well, I'm going to set the camera down on its mount and start talking about mixing paint. Okay, I'm about to mix up some paint so I can spray with. What we have here is my thinner bottle. It has 91% alcohol in it. And I am just using that to clean the airbrush with when I'm done. So I will spray that inside the airbrush when I'm done to help clean it out. I am going to go ahead and use the official thinner for Tamiya acrylic paints, okay? And I'm using some flat black paint that I ran through a paint shaker earlier today. Not too much earlier either. And what I'm shooting for, I'm going to shake that up again, that doesn't look right. That's because that's the wrong bottle. That might have something to do with it. That one was not shaken up earlier today. I've got the spare bottle in case something goes bad. That one was. What I'm shooting for is about a 50-50 mixture. So, I'm going to add some thinner to my bottle. Way too much for what I need, I think. Yeah, let's, let's, let's overdo the paint this time around. I'd rather overdo it a little bit than underdo it. So, there is my thinner. And then I'm going to add paint, and I want to double the amount of liquid in this bottle when I add my paint. I'm going to put a piece of paper towel underneath me. So I can catch any spills. And that about doubled the volume of paint in the bottle. So I'm going to set that bottle aside and I want to mix this up. Now I'm not liking that so what I'm going to do is get me a stir stick. I have plenty of those laying around. Now these little bamboo skewers are wonderful for things like this. In fact this one was used to hold a model earlier. So I'm not going to feel bad about using it now. So I've got that mixed up. Alright, and I'm going to give it a try. Everything I've ever read says you want that to be about the consistency of milk. So, it looks like it's a little thinner actually, more along the lines of water. I got a piece of paper towel. Spray boots holding it down real nicely for me. Got my airbrush turning on the compressor. Okay, I'm hooking it up and doing some test spray. See how she's spraying. I don't have the airbrush adjusted right, so I'm gonna have to pull it apart. It's letting uh, spray through regardless whether I've got it pulled back or not. And that's not how you want it adjusted. Ah, the needle's not even grabbing. Yeah, fun for me. There we go. I got her now. 
I learned how to adjust this thing by spraying enamel paint through it once and well didn't get it cleaned out right by not getting it cleaned out right you learn very quickly how to clean an airbrush so let me get the first victim of the night we're gonna start with spraying the stand for the SR71 now one of the nice things about using pegboard is it will hold things for you and I'm gonna start just by spraying some paint on it everything I read says and it's gonna be hard for you guys to see this I think it says start with thin coats and then work your way up thicker now I can see this because of the contrast in the lighting I don't know if the camera's picking that up so let's zoom in a little bit and see if the camera's picking that up I can see where it goes wet for a second and then goes dry I think that's probably coating it just fine. Looks like my first experiment with Tamiya paints is going to be wonderful. I'm going to not regret using this stuff because it looks like it sprays beautifully. Now the next question will be how does it hold up the next day? We will find out later. Plus I love the smell of Tamiya paints. All right, now let me go get the SR-71 and we'll spray her down. In the meantime, I'm putting this in a drying place. Actually, a good place for it to dry would be up here on the wall of the spray booth. Ah, that's not working. That is. So I got it hanging on the back of the spray booth. Let me get the SR-71 out. I also have it on a stick. I'm going to readjust the camera so we can see it a little bit better. Okay. And got my paint. And I'm just going to start spraying her down. Now, in case anyone's wondering, I made sure the PSI on the airbrush was at 20 before I did this. I made sure I lowered the PSI to 20. Before I started spray painting. And this looks like it is very successful. Hopefully this isn't just beginner's luck. All right, we're gonna let that dry. So let me put her in the back. I don't know how much of that showed up on camera. Hoping most of it. Of course, that's not gonna work. This probably will. Tell where it touched me I'm gonna end up with some paint marks that is not gonna work let me find a way to brace that we're gonna go ahead and shut off the recording <laughs> 